I want to start off with what's happening in, in real time in the Saudi economy. We've been sifting through a lot of the corporate balance sheets, looking for clues as to whether Saudis are spending more. Are they? Uh, sure, sir. They are spending more on some, uh, some sectors. Uh, for example, the food sector, uh, they're definitely spending more, uh, especially in the fast food segment. Uh, in, the, in the big chains, they are spending more. Uh, for example, if you see the Herfi financials, as you mentioned, uh, we have uh, given a good results on the third quarter and the, for the, uh, the three quarters of the year. And uh, hopefully it will continue uh, for the fourth quarter and for next year. Khaled, a very good morning to you. The other big story that we're tracking at Bloomberg is the impact of the so-called exodus or the departure of expatriates from the kingdom. Have you noticed any demonstrable change in terms of the complexion of your customer, in terms of the impact from this movement of, let's say, higher spending or the ability to spend uh, expatriate community, if at all? Uh, not in our, uh, not in Herfi, not in, in the food segment. Uh, uh, Herfi customers are mainly 90% uh, 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 Saudis, so uh, we didn't feel any, uh, any, uh, you know, uh, drop in sales because of that reason. Khaled, we've spoken to quite a few analysts and the feedback we're getting is that you've shown quite a bit of margin resilience. So you've been able to keep costs under control. You look at what's happening with VAT, the tax on sugary drinks. You look at your labor input costs. How exactly have you been able to manage those costs? What are you doing? Sure. Uh, well, we've been working with our, you know, suppliers where, and we call them partners. Uh, we really worked hard with them. Uh, found ways and solutions to get uh, better prices uh, in, in all the supply chain. Uh, we have managed to uh, cut the cost of uh, some of the rented uh, restaurants. Uh, so it mainly came from there. Uh, plus, uh, you know, we have paid uh, around uh, 60 million uh, deleveraging, de you know, to, to the banks. Uh, this is also uh, will take our costs uh, more down, you know, the, as an interest rate or interest cost. Now, Khaled, you, you said that 90 percent of your customers are Saudis. So this takes us nicely to the question about internationalization. Not none, but I, I would say 10 percent only. OK, let's let's talk about what's next for uh, Herfi in terms yes. of expansion into Asia. We understand you're looking at various franchise mm -hmm. opportunities. I, I want to know which geographies are perhaps the most important to you when you go to do this expansion plan. Where are you most focused? Sure. Uh, well, uh, first of all, in Saudi Arabia, we have around 365 branches now. Uh, all are owned and operated by Herfi. Uh, we are looking into an expansion plan for the next five years inside Saudi Arabia. Uh, plus, as you mentioned, uh, we have uh, uh, done uh, a franchisee in, uh, you know, in Kuwait uh, since uh, five years. Now, we, in the last year, a year ago exactly in, in November, we opened our first branch in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, it was a huge success. Uh, they opened their second store. Now they're opening their third store before the, the end of the year, and they're planning to open five more next year. Uh, so all this, you know, the story of Bangladesh, uh, it's, it's really uh, giving us a, a good boost, giving us a good, you know, uh, yeah. uh, really exposure to the international market. Uh, you know, all right. the international chains are in Bangladesh already. So uh, uh, this is make, you know, this is a g give us, you know, a, comf a confident that, you know, the Herfi brand is an international uh, brand, international standards, and it can go outside of Saudi Arabia and compete with all the international brands. Uh, so we are looking into uh, parts right. of Asia. We are looking also into parts of Africa. Uh, and hopefully soon uh, you will hear about, uh, you know, uh, new deals that okay. will be signed in those two, uh, two continents. So, Khaled, just to perhaps get a, a clear understanding of, of how you're looking to go about that, does that mean you're looking at uh, acquisitions, at mergers? 
how much money are you willing to spend perhaps in chasing inorganic growth? What's, I mean, what kind of resources do you have to play with? Okay, uh, you know, for acquisitions, uh, we have been reviewing, you know, a lot of opportunities in the last uh, year. Uh, until now, we did not uh, reach any, uh, you know, uh, final decision about them. We're still looking and searching for the best opportunity. Uh, but still, you know, as I told you, in the Saudi market, still there is an opportunity for Herfi to grow. Uh, we can reach easily 500 stores in the next, uh, uh, you know, few years uh, inside Saudi Arabia. Plus, I see really a big opportunity expanding uh, through franchising outside of Saudi Arabia.